Now I'll show you how to access and edit additional elements and parts of your store. So here in the top left corner, you've got a drop down menu with a template for um, for different section of your store, which you can customize further. For example, if you would like to customize your password page, so the password page that is displayed before you launch. So if you want, for example, to um, collect email addresses and make people on build awareness of your store without really making it live because you're still working on it, you can customize this store to start matching your branding. So click on the password page and here on the left you can edit elements of this page. So in the header you can add a logo, so select image and let's select our previous logo. Then click select and obviously optimize it with alt tag and you can customize the height if you would like or width. So let's go for 50 and see how it looks differently. Okay, so it's much smaller but it's quite nice. Okay, let's go back and now click on content. Here you can check this section, so obviously the title, you can show or not show the newsletter sign up, mm, you can check this, you can uh, change this title, you can change the newsletter sign up, uh, call to action, mm, you can change the um, this label text. You can change the submit or you can, for example, change it to send if you would like. Mm, and you can also enable show social sharing buttons. We, I, I haven't enabled it yet. Spread the world. So it's not necessary because I haven't enabled social, social sharing yet. Mm, okay. And let's see what else we can customize. So let's go to the footer. And we can choose whether we want to show powered by Shopify or not. And if you like it, simply click save. 